hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am very excited because i did receive my boxy charm for the month of june today and i am going to be filming with this today <laughs> I already have a few of these products on my face. I only received three makeup products and one of them was a dud, which I'll explain later on. But the two other products were only two other products that I can film with. So the try-on portions are sparse today. So if you want to see what I received in my BoxyCharm for the month of June, then just keep on watching. I also must mention that this is going to be filmed, well, it's going to be uploaded as a short as part of my looks inspired by scooby-doo characters today's look is inspired by fred i hope it's obvious because if it's not then i failed miserably but let's get into what i got in this box so the first thing i have here is from dew of the gods this is the ultra tonic watermelon extract toner this has a value of 36 dollars packed with all the good stuff, alpha hydroxy acids, vitamins, hyaluronic acids, and the star ingredient watermelon. This toner will help leave your skin looking and feeling its best. Gently exfoliate, soften, and tone with this refreshing fruity formula that will have you glowing like a goddess in no time. Pat onto your skin after cleansing and follow with your fave serum. Dew of the Gods creates high quality skincare products that elevate your routine. I like the packaging. I think it's cute cute packaging you know i'm kind of upset though because like, i didn't need a toner but this seems really good and it doesn't expire for a good amount of time so i can just keep this and save it hopefully i'm not like struggling to clear out toners soon so i'm running out of one currently so then i guess i'll just replace that one with this one and then we'll have still three but we're working on it it's a work in progress but i'm excited to try it so is my boyfriend i want to get him into using more of my skincare because i have so much and he's just like but it's so expensive and i'm like but like i have so much like please like just like use some we're working on it the next product i have in here is from juice beauty this is the stem cellular resurfacing micro exfoliant this has a value of $56, which, wow, that's a hefty price. I didn't know it was that expensive. So this gentle but mighty exfoliator works to buff away dead skin cells and impurities to help reveal brighter, smoother, and more even-toned skin infused with antioxidant-rich fruit stem cells, vitamin C, and jojoba beads. This exfoliant is like a luxurious spa treatment for your face massage onto your damp face in circular motions remove with a warm washcloth and pat dry juice beauty believes in advanced beauty solutions that harness the best of certified organic ingredients to deliver clinically validated skincare and vibrant plant pigment makeup so usually i do not enjoy physically exfoliating products because i find them to be a little rough for, for what I usually do, which what I'm doing currently is skin cycling. So two days out of the week, I'm exfoliating one day with an AHA or a BHA and then one day with a retinol. So that's currently what I'm doing. And then the last two days, I just let my skin rest. I find that I go through some skincare quicker but also like i just find that my skin enjoys that so that's what i've been doing and i find that when i don't do that my skin tends to like act up so i'm just gonna continue doing that and see like where that takes me let's move on to my choice product so my first choice product was the fenty beauty match sticks contour skin stick in suede this has a value of 32 dollars want to slay your contour game whether you're an expert or just starting out these sticks make it easy to contour like a pro the buildable cream to powder formula is weightless and blends like a dream so you can achieve that chiseled look without any creasing or caking draw the stick along your face wherever you want to create shadows rihanna created fenty beauty so that people everywhere would be included focusing on a wide range of traditionally hard to match skin tones developing formulas that work for all skin types and pinpointing universal shades first of all 32 dollars for this is a little overpriced i will say if you look at lys if you look at rare beauty their contour sticks are a lot cheaper and i prefer those i'm not saying this is a bad product by any means 
when I'm looking for a contour stick, I'm looking for something that's creamy and I can quickly just apply it and be done. Whereas this is something where you need to warm it up first. I chose to apply it to the back of my hand and take a brush and apply it to my cheek that way. But I still found the product to be rather like just dry and like just kind of like you need to work with it before you work on putting it on your face. So I found that to be like just like the slightest bit annoying because it's a little time consuming whereas I just want to get the product on my face and go. And then I also found the color was pretty warm. It looked orange at first until I blent it out with my sponge and it works but it's not a shade I prefer and if I were to choose a specific shade I would choose something more neutral leaning maybe a little bit on the cooler side just to give me like some nice chisel. This is more of like a bronzing stick, not a contour stick. I feel like contour and bronzer, they seem to be the same. They are not the same, but a lot of people just think that it is. I don't know. I like it. I don't love it. I feel like I need to use it some more and I guess we'll see at the end of the month, but so far it's all right. <laughs> I feel like it's more geared towards like oily skin and like Brianna who's a performer so she needs something that's just gonna stick on her face whereas I just need something that's gonna just give me some color you know I'm pale I need just some color <laughs> my next choice product was the Tress de Say Beauty Empower Me Matte Lipstick in Nudie Pink this retails for $16 unleash your inner boss with this nudie pink matte lipstick this creamy formula is packed with hydrating mango butter that feels like a dream on your lips with a highly pigmented burst of color that won't feather or bleed. You'll be ready to conquer the world one pout at a time. Swipe this matte lipstick across your lips, then blot them together to blend. Founded by artist, actress, activist, and glam queen Becky G, Tresluce Beauty celebrates Latinx culture through vibrant and high quality makeup. I love Tresluce, I gotta say. This lipstick is so nice. I probably have like 50 renditions of this shade. I feel like this is just like the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk shade. This is like that. This is beautiful. I absolutely love this. It's so creamy. It's so buttery. My lips were really bad before I put this on. This is just the prettiest lipstick ever and I love the packaging. I love it. It's like feels metal. It's like magnetic. I love this color blue. This is beautiful. I love this. Definitely something I'm happy to receive in this box and that's getting rarer and rarer nowadays so I'm just happy. And the last product in my box <laughs> is the KVD Beauty Tattoo Pencil Liner in Blue Ashes. This has a value of $22. This ultra smooth transfer resistant gel eyeliner has the same high pigment waterproof all day wear as its liquid liner predecessor but in a pencil formula that's easy to use and versatile. Use the intense sapphire shade to line smudge or go graphic. Glide this eyeliner across your lids or water lines to create bold lines and designs. Heads up, it dries down fast so work one eye at a time to give yourself some flexibility. KVD Beauty is tattoo inspired and offers high pigment, high performance makeup inspired by tattoo artistry. They stand for more than just performance. Their makeup is 100% vegan and cruelty free. I was so excited to receive this because I've never tried the KVD like eyeliner formula. I was expecting it to be super creamy super good and as it says super long wearing but when i received this it first of all was broken like it was broken the the pencil part of it was already off and i was like whatever you know that happens all the time eyeliners break they're super like easy to break it just happens and my color pop ones they break all the time i thought it'd be a sharpener pencil but it's a retractable and i find that i just wish it was a sharpener pencil because i feel like that would save it i don't know i feel like if your pencil is going to dry down this isn't really what you want because i was trying to do like this graphic moment i had to do this with eyeshadow and one of my color pop cream gel liners these are so much better than this why because they're super cheap they get the job done and if it dries down on you and you can't use the pencil anymore because it's just so dry it was seven dollars and you can buy a new one this is 22 dollars it is so rough and dry like like i'm pressing lightly but like you shouldn't have to press hard on your eye you're putting this on your eye you shouldn't have to press so hard it just hurts 
you know, I tried to do a graphic moment. I tried to like do what I do what this is, right? I tried to do that. And it just mm -mm. and like it is so dry that it just doesn't want to come off. Like when you put it down, it's like there to stay. So yeah, I'm just not really a huge fan of this and I'm glad that I got it in the subscription box because if I would have paid for this and didn't like it and I was stuck with it, I kind of didn't luck out because that's like one of my products wasted. You know what? It sucks all around. <laughs> it just sucks because like I can't return it and get a new product, you know, like it's just there now. That was my June boxy charm. What did you think? I thought it was all right. I didn't think it was like anything crazy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't feel like there was a lot of stuff that I could use. The, ch the choices weren't that great for me and I heard mixed reviews. So, you know, we're going to see it. We're going to see it through next month again and again. Thank you so much for clicking and watching this video. If you found it any type of helpful or if you just enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video, hopefully, because this has been a journey to film recently. And I will, I'm getting back into it and I'm going to let you know what happens soon. So thank you and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Because I did rec because I did receive my Ipsy, my Ipsy. I'm excited to get into this. So if you want to see what I received in my Ipsy, in my this toner will pat onto your skin after. I do love the color of this pack that harness the best of. And I reset and I do that over and over again. I find that I find. So. <clears throat> I find that, but when I look for a contour stick, I'm looking for something. Swipe this matte lip. This shade called Empower Me is probably just like it's the prettiest shade. Did I get it on? I did, didn't I? I did, didn't I? All they wear as it's liquid. Liquid. <laughs> has its so yeah that was my ipsy that was i keep calling it my ipsy glam bag plus but it's not ipsy glam bag plus anymore it's boxy charm